Welcome inside our San Francisco studios for Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. I'm Mike Am, joined by a couple of Trojans, All-American wide receiver, 12-year NFL vet, Curtis Conway, Heisman Trophy winner, Matt Leinert in the studio with us. Guys, there's a lot of conversation happening around the Stanford football team as they make a push to the Pac-12 title game, potentially win a Pac-12 championship. They'll match up against Colorado, a game that you'll be able to watch here on the Pac-12 network. But I guess I want you guys to take a closer look and show you how this road shapes up for the Cardinal. Only Pac-12 team right now without a conference loss. They can clinch the North with a win over Colorado and an Oregon loss to cow that remaining schedule. It's the Buffs, the Ducks, the Bears, and then the Irish, boy, that a game against Notre Dame, November 28th could mean huge, pay huge dividends for a Stanford squad that right now is sitting 11th in the college football playoff rankings. So Curtis, in your mind, how does Stanford get back to a title game and win a Pac-12 title? Well, continue to do what they've been doing, playing Stanford football right now, running the ball better than anyone in the Pac-12, and this is what they do, run the football. But you must look at the last two games, Christian McCaffrey carrying a rock, and I know this sounds crazy, but only, and I said only, 107 yards last week, <laughs> and two weeks ago, only 109 yards. That's not Stanford running back quality the way he's been playing, but I will say this, Kevin Hogan, when you look at what he did last week against Washington State running the football, he ran for over 100 yards, two touchdowns. Matt, when you add that element now, yeah. to Stafford's yeah. offense running the football, you have to watch Kevin Hogan now? I know. He's oh, good. my God. This is a different offense now we're talking about <laughs> with the addition run. of running Kevin Hogan. Yeah, Kevin Hogan certainly coming off a career high, 112 yards on the ground in a very tight game. It was funny. We saw Quentin Meeks. He came on Sports Report with us Monday night, asked him what it was like to watch that field goal. Merrick Powell sell right. He said, boy, he was holding his head. You can understand why. I've been there before, yeah. man. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is still a Colorado team team that at least statistically speaking that you look at what they did against UCLA and it's hard to argue they outplayed the Bruins and yet they're still in hell next to that particular uh, match I loved how they played for four quarters against UCLA UCLA was a far superior football team they dominated the time of, uh, time of possession 41 minutes they held the football over 100 plays from the line of scrimmage uh, they ran the ball well the, the the concern I have with Colorado's red zone they're dead last in the conference in red zone scoring when they get inside the 20 they settle for field goals we saw the interception you know we saw the turnovers they have to correct that especially against a Stanford football team that is going to pound the ball like you said Sue, they're going to run the clock with Christian McCaffrey now Kevin Hogan that is the concern that I have Colorado's defense is not going to be able to hold up against that offense attack they have to control the ball on the offense and they have to get touchdowns. They cannot settle for field goals, not against a good Stanford team. Or miss field goals. Or miss field goals. They dropped, uh, I think it was Devin Ross in the end zone, drop one. There was another drop a little bit later in the game. It just, you, you got to score points when you're in the red zone, and that was the Achilles heel for the Colorado Buffs. Meanwhile, I'll try to rectify things against Stanford. Not going to be easy. Once again, you can catch it right here on the Pac 12 network. 10 a.m. is kickoff, but you don't want to miss the pregame show. It's must see television, right? It starts <laughs> at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. Be there, or I'm going to say, be square. That's a little lame. That was oh, square. Wow. That was a little corny. That was square. Not bad. It happened. <laughs>